We all love Maxie and Riften exactly as they are. But how would we feel if they swapped bodies? Imagine this. Ruth is up late one night working on his newest forbidden spell. Just like always, he falls asleep on his books, but not before accidentally activating the runes he was working on. So when Maxie and Riften wake up in the morning, they find they've swapped bodies. Both are shocked to the core and can't even speak for a minute, looking at their own bodies from outside. Riften hasn't been this short since he was a child. Is this really how the world looks from Maxie's point of view? And Maxie is blown away by the sheer strength inside Riften's body. How does he even use all these muscles? When the two try to talk, out of Riften's body comes a stutter and Maxie's voice is deep and commanding. W what is going on? Luckily, at that moment, Ruth bursts into their room, panting. He woke up and realized what he did, which he assures the couple he was not trying to do. Maxie and Riften give him enough trouble as is, so the last thing the mage would want to do is make it even harder for himself. Help! They shove Ruth back into the library immediately to find a way to reverse it, but until he can figure it out, they will have to impersonate themselves. Maxie goes down to the training grounds, where the soldiers are shocked to see that their commander is being much kinder and gentler than usual. Practical Ursuline worries Riften has a head injury, while Heberon roars in laughter, thinking he is drunk. Commander, do you have any training maneuvers for us today? Um, well, I, I was thinking we could w work on stabbing. Uh, stabbing? That's not very specific. Are you sure you're feeling all right? Yes, I'm f fine. I just think we, we could use more work on stabbing. With swords, s specifically. I don't know what you've been drinking, Commander, but I have to have some. <laughs> Meanwhile, Riften is stewing inside, not knowing what to do with himself. He's already sat through the indignity of being dressed by Ludus, which wasn't so bad. Maxi was still naked in his eyes, and that's always a bonus. But Rodrigo has been chasing him around for hours, asking him about winter food orders and fabric bolts and servant hires. A thousand things Riften has never dealt with before. Finally, to escape his nagging, Riften goes into the library to hide with Ruth. At first, Ruth is excited, someone smart who can help him, until he remembers it's still Riften in Maxie's body. He doesn't know anything about magic, so he's basically useless. Ouch. Needless to say, this doesn't go over well with Riften, and he insists he can be of help. But even drawing the simplest runes is a disaster when Riften attempts to use Maxie's delicate fingers. He's so worried about hurting himself, or rather, hurting Maxie's body, that he just sits, not moving a muscle. When night falls and Maxie and Riften return to their room, they feel a buzz in both their chests, and suddenly they are themselves again. Ruth did it! He's standing in the doorway, complaining with dark circles under his eyes, but he walks away as quickly as he can. He does not want to see what happens next. Now that Riften and Maxie have experienced life in one another's bodies, they are more eager than ever to come back together and appreciate them in a sexy way. What do you imagine would happen for Maxie and Riften in this situation? Are there any more body swaps that you just have to see? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the quality UOT content you can expect here.